How do you keep track of your sales leads and nurture those leads so that strangers become customers? Use a simple sales pipeline. My name's Kaylin Huntress. I'm the creative director of a digital marketing agency called Stellar Platforms, and I help experts and entrepreneurs set up smart marketing systems. What I'm going to share with you today is a simple sales pipeline that you can use in Trello. It's as easy as drag and drop. You can get this by going to pipelinetemplate.com if you don't already have the, te the Trello template. And duplicating that template is how you're gonna make a simple sales pipeline. I'll show you how. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm here at pipelinetemplate.com, you're gonna see this template, but you can't use it yet until you click this blue button at the top that says create board from template. And this is going to create a new Trello board that you can modify, okay? So after you have your own Trello board, you have a number of lists that go through different categories, leads, prospects, suspects, and customers. Working your sales pipeline is the process of moving people through these lists. Over on the left-hand side, I've laid out a customer journey so that anyone in the world is a stranger right? But a lead is someone who's qualified to do business with you. They match your target market. A prospect is someone who's raised their hand and said, hey, what is it that thing you do? And they've shown some interest. A suspect is someone who's received a proposal or they're considering buying from you. And a customer is somebody who's given you money. And these qualifications are general and you can change them to suit your business. Each one of these cards at the top of the list have the qualifying factors for what brings someone into the list. You can change what's in this checklist. Someone who faces this problem, someone who often says this thing, someone who makes this amount of money, whatever it is, add items into this checklist so that you can articulate what con constitutes a lead, what constitutes a prospect, what do each of these stages mean in your business. That's the first step to using this template, is to customize it to suit your business. The second step is to add people into the lists. And you could do it just by typing the names. I can type in Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne and Charles Xavier, and you can just type in names all day long. And each one of these cards is one of your leads that you wanna turn into a customer. So the purpose of using this Trello board as your sales pipeline is to document your activity with each of these customers and move them from one list to another. That's what we're trying to do here is we're trying to move these leads into prospects, suspects, and finally customers. So when you wanna work your pipeline and you wanna make some money, you come to this Trello board and you move people from left to right. Now I've put in a bunch of resources here that'll be helpful. Uh, one of them is this Google Doc at the end. It's a pipeline time workbook. I use this in, in my pipeline time workshop that I teach to help people create these pipelines. And this is the, also a template, just like the Trello board. So what you're gonna have to do, the instructions are right here up at the top, is you go to file, make a copy, and you make a copy of this Google Doc in your own Google Drive. So you do have to have a Google account and you can call it my pipeline time workbook or whatever you wanna call it. You can't edit the template, but you can edit your copy. And this workbook has three sections. There's the customer journey, which is all the stages that people go through. There is the pipeline activities, which is what you can do to move people from one list to the next, and then there's your current pipeline. Now, it might be better, rather than doing this in the Trello board, to do it in this workbook first, because you can make a list here of everything that, that means a lead, and you can highlight these two bullets and replace it with your qualifications. Someone who has a website, let's say, because I'm a web designer, um, or no website, or hates their website. You know, you can add in all the qualifications and then copy and paste these to put them into your Trello board. The pipeline activities are things that you can take to turn strangers into leads, leads into prospects, 
prospects into suspects and suspects into customers. Identifying what these actions are is gonna help you figure out how do I move people forward in this list. If you create a list of things here, you know, I'm gonna call this just thing one, thing two, and thing three. These are the three ways that suspects can become customers. And after I've done that thinking, I can come back over here into my Trello board and at this top card for the customer, I can just add these items right here. And it's gonna add these as separate checkboxes. So that these are the things that I can do. If I wanna move people from my prospect list into customer list, I can come and look right here and see what it is I have to do to move them over. This third section in the workbook is are the people who you currently have in each stage. So if you have an existing CRM, or a spreadsheet where you're keeping track, you can just put their names here. Clark Kent, Bruce Wayne, Steve Rogers, you know, just add them all in, right? And then after you've created a list of all the people that you have in each of these sections, oh, look at that, I misspelled poor Mr. Kent's first name. Anyway, I'm gonna copy this list and bring it over here and then I'm gonna add a card and I'm gonna paste this whole list. And Trello, genius platform that it is, is gonna say, hey, do you wanna make a separate card for each one of these? And I'm gonna say, yes, make three different cards and it'll add them all in. So after you populate your people, then you wanna start adding content. When I'm working my pipeline, I, anytime I call them, I, I might just add a comment. You know, I left a voicemail and save that so that that way I keep a running record of my activity with them. If I send them a proposal, I can attach it. If we have emails, I can go down to this share button down here at the bottom, and then I get this link right here, the email for this card. If I copy this, after I can BCC this email to put the email here on the card. If they reply to me about a proposal, I can forward it to this email. And by getting in the habit of documenting what happens and storing it here, it creates a running record for your activity which e with each one of these prospects. The other thing I wanna share with you is the labels. If you don't know how to use labels, you know, if you, especially if you have different types of offers, you can create off a label for the different types of offers that you have. And so if this is someone I know who's gonna be interested in offer one, and Bruce Wayne is gonna be interested in offer two, then what I can do is I can filter my pipeline by searching the cards for a specific type of label. So if I'm doing a campaign and I wanna get a whole bunch of people in offer two, by doing this search, I can quickly and clearly identify all the people who are interested. So that's the overview of how to use this board. A couple of other items I wanna share with you is over here on the right, I've got um, some tutorials on how to use this board. I've got the Pipeline Time Workbook, some things about me. If you wanna, uh, if you want to subscribe to my newsletter, I'll send you my marketing automation checklist, which is a PDF that goes through how to create a marketing automation system that builds your list without your active involvement. That's my field. I do a lot of, of work. Oh my gosh, my head's in front of that. Sorry. Uh, I do a lot of work in content marketing and turning strangers into customers. And I also have this online course called the Marketing Automation Planner. And if you'd like to take that course, then I'll share with you my templates for building your list and expanding your audience. So that's an outline of the simple sales pipeline here in Trello. I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you haven't gotten your copy yet, go to pipelinetemplate.com and you can get a copy there. And best of luck. I hope that you crush it on your pipeline. Good luck out there.